Hi, welcome to the 2016 Troop Fall Product Program Training. A quick uh, little intro into the fall program. Why should troops participate in the program? We know that there are um, are other activities going on right now and other fundraisers? What makes the, the Girl Scout Heart of Central California fall program um, so exciting to participate in? Uh, first of all, it's an opportunity for the girls to practice their five skills, uh, which are goal setting, decision making, money management, people skills, and business ethics. Uh, it's a great way for the troop to get some, earn some startup funds, to start the year strong. Uh, of course, girls can earn individual rewards for their participation uh, as well. So the five skills, we know them, we love them. Um, they, uh, this is the, the goal of each of our programs is to give girls the opportunity to to practice uh, each of the skills. So for instance, goal setting, learning how to set goals individually and as a group, and then creating a plan on how to reach them. Decision making, learning how to make decisions such as how the troop will use the money, and then working as a group will help her to develop her critical thinking and problem solving skills. Money management, helping money, I'm sorry, handling money, helps her gain practical life skills around financial literacy, and then learning to budget and deciding how she will spend her money is really a valuable life lesson. And people skills, learning how to talk, listen to, and work with all kinds of people uh, allows your Girl Scout to develop healthy relationships and conflict resolution skills. And finally, business ethics, practicing good business ethics like being honest and responsible reinforces the positive values she is developing as a Girl Scout. This year we're really excited to introduce a new troop participation incentive for uh, participating in the fall program. Uh, this replaces, for those of you returning to the fall program, this replaces what was formerly known as TOPS. And there's just three things to do to qualify for this year's incentive. We've designed it to be super easy. Number one, uh, to, you need to register your troop by September 30th in MyGS. And a registered troop is considered at least two registered adults and at least two registered girls. And second, it's very important to select a fall troop product manager in MyGS. And I'll go into some detail on how to do that. And then finally, sell $200 in the fall program. This is a very easy goal. Last year, the average sales per troop was $709. 80% of troops that participated last year sold $200 or more. So this goal is really intended just just encourage you to participate. And if you do all those three, those th three things, each troop will receive this really cool cookie cart. There's a council in Southern California that uh, had a very similar cart last year. There was a lot of great buzz about it. So this year, GSUSA is uh, providing these carts. And uh, we wanted to offer it as uh, the fall incentive this year. And also, we are providing a chip-enabled credit card reader from Square with $1,000 in free credit card processing for four months. Uh, we got a lot of feedback on the surveys last year. Uh, what we heard overwhelmingly is that troops do want to use credit cards at booth sales. However, they're concerned about paying the credit card processing fee. So we secured an agreement with Square uh, to provide uh, that thousand dollar credit. Uh, there's like, we can't conceive of a way that it would surpass the thousand dollars for the cookie season. And it's important to use the 
chip card enabled credit card reader rather than the free swipers because the chip card enabled reader is going to protect you from any uh, chargebacks. So if there's any credit card fraud and you take a credit card transaction with just the swipe device, then your troop could potentially be responsible for the chargeback. But if you use this chip card enabled reader, you would not be. And our goal is really to protect the troops from any fraud. And there have been some questions in other webinars and training. Do you have to give these back? And the answer is absolutely not. The cart and the credit card reader are yours to keep. And we will be distributing both of these at the cookie drops. So that's either the mega drop or the service unit drop. And then again, the credit card, uh, the free credit card processing will last the entire length of the cookie season. So a little bit about how to make sure that someone from your troop is designated as a Troopfall product manager. You would go to our website and then uh, go to MyGS. You go to your member profile. And if you need assistance, you can contact a customer care at girlscoutshcc.org or call us. If you are registering for the very first time and you know the troop that you are going to register for, then simply type in the number of the troop and then it's going to pull up opportunities for that troop. You can see here that Fall Product Sales Manager is available. I see volunteers needed column on the right hand side is one so that position still needs to be filled. So if I was registering, I would click the box on the left hand side and then continue on with my registration. If I have already registered for the upcoming membership year, then I would log in and the first screen I'm going to see is this membership tab. And I'm going to see my name, I'm going to see the positions, the roles that I've already signed up for. And then I'm going to go to the Troops tab. And I'm, from here, I'll be able to see all of the registered girls and all of the registered adults in the troop. So I've scrolled down to see just the adults. And as you can see, uh, I'm already registered as the Fall Product Sales Manager for this troop. But if I wasn't, I would go to this add edit area and then I would click add so that I could add a role to my existing membership. So just another screen to show what that process looks like. And then, then you're done. So again, if you have any questions about that process, uh, please contact us at customercare at girlscoutshcc.org uh, or call us. Uh, only the volunteers who have selected themselves as a Troopfall product sales manager will be imported into NAE. And as we'll talk about a little bit later in this webinar, NAE is where at the end of the program you'll input all of the girl recognitions and the girl orders. So it's important to have access to NUTE starting around mid-October timeframe. But to qualify for the troop incentive, uh, we would need to make sure that you're registered by September 30th. Okay, so the program starts on Thursday, September 15th. That's when on sales, on, online sales start. And then order card sales starts on Friday, September 3rd, 30th, and then continues on through October 23rd. And you'll hear us talk about two different companies that are part of the fall program. So there's QSP, they're the provider for magazines, the photo keepsakes, ebooks, and Ashen Farms. Think of them as all of the edible items, the nuts, chocolates, and items. 
The theme this year is Be Brilliant, Shine On with Kayla the Koala. Each of you received girl packets for each girl in your troop. You would receive these from your service unit fall product manager. So you would get an envelope with a order card for the nuts and chocolates and catalog for the magazines. Most troops will receive 10% uh, back in troop proceeds, but if you have a troop that are, consists of cadets and older, then the girls can choose to unanimously vote to forego their rewards and just receive 20% troop proceeds. Uh, but it does have to be 100% cadets or above, and they need to vote unanimously. And then in addition, in your girl packet, you'll also find the reach out booklet. What you'd also receive from your service unit manager is the uh, Be a Reader poster. So the poster is designed to help girls learn the products and create a business plan. It features six Girl Scout testimonials. It's designed for easy and hands-on use for troop leaders and has personalized goal charts for the girls to tie their goals, their, their goals back to the troop. And in years past, I know that a lot of troops have come into the shop to purchase a Be a Reader patch, and those will again be available this year. There's three ways to participate in the fall program. You don't need to do all three. This program is designed to be very easy, so you can decide really what works best for your troop, and even the girls can decide what works best uh, for the time that they have. So one way to participate is online. The girls would send emails to friends and family uh, with a link to their online store to purchase nuts, chocolate, magazines, ebooks, and photo keepsakes online. The customer purchases online and they are shipped the products uh, directly. So there's no product to distribute, there's no money to turn in from the girl to you or to the service unit manager. Again, designed to be very easy. Another way to participate is in person. Uh, that's the order card that's in the girl packet. She would uh, you know, walk that door to door, also with friends and family. And then finally, the reach out booklet, and we'll talk about that later on in this webinar. So a little bit more about how to participate online. Uh, you'll see on our website, if you go to our website, girlscoutshcc.org, fall product, you will see the, the Koala uh, link to start the online store. They call it the Girl Dashboard. And there is a, uh, a piece in the Girl Packets uh, to learn more about the online program. And then part of the Girl Packets, each girl will receive a sheet of uh, business cards that she can, once she's created her Girl Dashboard, she'll have a unique ID and she can write that unique ID onto the business cards and distribute that so that customers can return to her store uh, at their leisure. And again, the second way to, to participate is in person. On the left hand side, you see the magazine order that's a triplicate. We recommend that girls use either black or blue ink when taking orders in person and filling in this form. And on the right hand side is the order card for the nuts and chocolates. And then the reach out booklet. So the reach out booklet uh, has nine pages and the girls would uh, fill in uh, information of friends and family who aren't quite reachable online and uh, these books are then sent into to QSP and the customers are then sent a catalog, an opportunity to to purchase uh, magazine items at a later date after the program has, has ended, 
and the proceeds uh, go to help council to support uh, the camp infrastructure. It helps reduce the cost of the incentive rewards for fall so that we can provide you really amazing uh, rewards. And then for every girl who turns in a complete book, she will earn the 2016 and 2017 uh, theme patch that you see advertised on the Reach Out book light. A little bit about what entails everything with when we say magazines it actually goes well beyond uh, just magazines but they do offer 600 plus magazine titles online over 200 plus digital titles uh, they offer magazine gift card denominations of 20 25 dollars and 50 dollar increments uh, new this year is this really cute Girl Scout vintage backpack tin. Those are real straps in the back and they're filled with mint treaders. Last year's Girl Scout tin was our number two seller and we think that this will be just as popular if not more so. We're also offering another tin this year for those customers who really want to support the Girl Scout program but maybe they want to give a tin as a, as a corporate gift uh, we're offering the, the snowman holiday tin filled with caramel treasures. And this was a staff favorite last year, the Black Forest Trail Mix. It was available online only last year. And so this year we decided to offer it on the order card. So there's three ways for girls to start their online sales. They can uh, go directly to this link. But even easier, they can just go to our website, girlscoutshcc.org, and then look for that koala icon. Click on that, and it'll take them to the Welcome Girl Scouts and Parents uh, page. And then new this year, as soon as girls are uh, uploaded from our membership database, into the QSP site the, the following day, the, uh, the parent who has their email address associated with that girl will receive an email directly from QSP, welcoming them, telling them a little bit about the online program, and then giving them the link to, to start their girl dashboard. New this year is the To Remember This. This is available exclusively online. Um, this is uh, different than what was offered a couple years ago. This is, again, online only. So you could purchase, let's say, a certificate for creating your own uh, holiday cards or your own uh, keepsake album books. And you could start designing them immediately after purchase. Um, or you can purchase the certificate now and wait until the end of the year. Let's say you want to create a yearbook for your troop. You could purchase a number of certificates for each girl now, and that would go toward uh, to help your troop goals. And then at the end of the year, use one of the Girl Scout branded photo, photo album covers and then fill it with pictures of troop activities throughout the year. And then design it once and then uh, purchase multiple copies for each girl. Also available are ebooks. Uh, again, ex available exclusively online. You can choose from over 165 ebooks. Um, they're readable on e readers, tablets, phones, and computers. It includes many children's titles and classics. And there's the, again, a separate tab in the online store to look for ebooks. Also available online is an expanded list of products that you won't see on the nut and chocolate order card. We have uh, mocha cups, the Girl Scout Nut Lover gift pack, the 15 ounce jumbo cashews, and other holiday tins. The online store offers 25 Girl Scout branded nut and candy items.
And then on the order card, I wanted to highlight a change we made to, again, simplify the program and make it an easier sale for the girl. So you'll see that the top line products, you have the two tins and the whole cashews and chocolate covered almonds. The top line, those are all $8 items. We know that the tin is a hot seller. Uh, customers happily pay $8 for the tin. And what we learned is that nationwide, most councils are charging $8 for the cashews and the chocolate covered almonds uh, because customers do perceive those products to be premium products. And then the remaining items are all $7. So last year we had $6, $7, and $8 items. This year, we just want to simplify it, make it easier for the girl and the customer uh, by having just two price points. And this will actually help the, the girl and the troops uh, earn higher proceeds with slightly higher average uh, uh, pricing. Also new this year, we've changed up the, the Troop for Troop, or as we sometimes call it, Project Thank You. Uh, last year it was a magazine voucher that was sent to the military. Uh, this year we're just making it a little bit more straightforward. If a customer donates $7, then a tin of nuts will be donated directly to the military. There's no need to distribute it. The customers can make the $7 donation and then the nuts are shipped directly to uh, San Diego by our vendor and from there it is shipped overseas. The troops would still earn 10% in proceeds or 20% if that's your proceed level. And every girl who sells four of these items will receive the share patch. We touched on this earlier. This is the magazine order card. Uh, please make sure that the pink copy stays with the customer. That is their receipt so that if they have any questions about their order, they can call and they can actually track the status of their order. And then the white and yellow copies are then turned in from the girl to you, the troop product manager, onto the sales manager, the service unit manager, and then to us. As we talked about earlier, the reach out booklet, that's the nine pages to, to complete and fill in and the proceeds from the reach out booklet um, help us reinvest in services for the girls. And one thing I wanted to mention is that if one girl maybe only has five contacts and she can't fill out the full nine pages of this booklet, but another girl has extra contacts, um, then we recommend that they work together so that between the two girls, they can fill out two complete booklets so that both girls can receive the 2016-2017 theme patch. And I wanted to also mention that names and addresses are not rented or sold. We we're excited about the, the Girl Rewards this year. Uh, first, I want to start with uh, touching on some of the patches that we haven't already discussed. Uh, so this year, and when girls send 15 emails, she will receive the online patch. And then when she sends 25 emails, she'll earn that goal achiever patch, that backpack uh, patch on the bottom. And we strongly recommend that girls send as many emails as possible. Sometimes emails don't always go through, customers don't always act on them. So the more they're participating online and expanding their reach, the better their sale will be. And then same as last year, the girl sells six nut items, so that would be chocolate or nuts. She would receive the Explore patch, and if she, purchase, if she sells two magazine items, and again, that could be magazines, ebooks, to remember this, items, um, anything that's non-edible, uh, she would earn the Shine On patch. And then for the reward items, there's a, the levels are the same as last year. So it's at $60, $100, $175, $250, $350, $450, and $625. 
So at the $60 level, the girl can choose between the selfie mirror that sticks on the back of a cell phone or the centered erasers that look like chapstick. And the $100 level is the 100 club patch with the Be, Be Brilliant necklace. The $175 level is the small koala plush. At $250, she can choose between the Dream Desk set or the bracelet set. At $350, she can choose between the Dream Journal or the Infinity Scarf. And at 450, she can choose between the two-in-one smart pillow. And no, I'm sorry, the iPad picture does not include the pillow uh, or the canteen. And finally, at the $625 level, she can choose between the large koala or the Bluetooth speaker. And uh, either choice, she would also earn the super seller patch. Um, one thing I wanted to mention is we really do look at the surveys when we ask for feedback on the types of rewards um, that we should offer from year to year. Um, and what we see, we get a lot of feedback that girls really want camping related gear. And so that is why you see the canteen offered uh, this year. And uh, we did have one of our uh, top cookie sellers she saw the canteen recently and she fell in love with it. She doesn't normally participate in fall, but she begged her mom to please let her do fall this year so that she could earn this canteen. So we, we really think that girls um, are gonna be excited about the rewards. And again, we always encourage everyone to provide us feedback on the type of rewards to, to offer. Because we really want this to be motivational for everybody. And wanted to make sure everyone knew that all the rewards are cumulative. So if a girl sells $625, she would receive items from every level that you see. And then once you have access into NetE to enter in their recognitions and rewards, you can actually start setting the reward preferences at any time. So you don't have to wait until the end of the program to ask the girls hey, do you want the Dream Journal or do you want the Infinity Scarf? We recommend getting those selections as early as possible and setting that into NIE. So at the end of the sale, all you have to do is just input the orders from our order card. So we talked a lot about goal setting. It is one of the five skills. So we wanted to give you an example of what that could look like. And for this example, we chose to uh, show a girl that would, uh, is only participating in the sale online. So one scenario is that she sells three of the two Remember This books. As you recall, one of the options is the, the Girl Scout branded album cover. So we think that's going to be a really hot seller this year. So let's say she sold three of those books at $20 each. She sold two magazine gift cards at $25 each. Uh, one gift card at $50 and one magazine subscription at $20. That's $180 in total online sales. For $180 in online, she would qualify for the scented erasers, the two magazine items, so she would earn the shine on patch. She would earn the $100 club patch in brilliant necklace. Uh, the customizable my creation patch which we'll uh, talk about in just a moment so she'll receive her own customized patch and then the small koala okay so i wanted to share with you what the online girl dashboard looks like so when she goes to our website and goes a qsp site and creates her account, she can set a goal for her friends and family to see once they receive an email from her. Um, she can customize the message. She can upload a custom video. Um, this might be a fun activity for the entire troop to create a video of, of all of the girls talking about what their goals are and, and asking all the customers to, to please um, help support their year-long activities. And then she can also upload an image or take a selfie. It does not have to be an image of her. It really could be any image that she chooses to upload. 
like what we see is the more a girl customizes her her dashboard and her message to customers, the more they respond. One thing that makes this program really easy is that if a family participated last year, then all the previously entered email addresses are already accessible and the order history from last year is also available. So if Uncle John last year bought a Time Magazine subscription, then you can remind him to renew his subscription this year. And then if you are starting new or you have new email addresses to descend to, you can import them using various address books, Yahoo, a Gmail, you can upload a CSV file, or you can simply just type them in. And a reminder, girls who send 15 plus emails will earn the online patch, and girls who send 25 emails will earn the goal achiever patch. Another option for to make online sales super easy is this text and share uh, option where she can generate a text that will have a link to her online store and then you can she can forward that text to friends and family or she can use that link to post to Facebook or Twitter and all of those online sales track back to her. And from this girl dashboard, she can also print her customized girl business cards. She has the girl business cards in her girl packet, but if she prints them from this site, they will be pre-printed with her unique ID. And again, it's that unique ID that makes sure that when customers visit a store, that the sales are tracking back to her. And last year we saw that 15% of our total online sales were a direct result of these business cards. So uh, returning again, this was a big hit last year. We Last year we had uh, Jeffrey the giraffe. And so this year, since the mascot is a koala, uh, girls can customize their own koala. She can edit as often as she likes. She doesn't even have to do any sales for fall. She can create an account and just have fun creating her custom koala. And then she can print um, directly from the site. And then Troop Fall product managers can also build their own koala as part of the, uh, the My Troop creation. And that is new this year. Uh, girls can unlock additional accessories for achieving certain levels. So for instance, when she sends 15 emails, she'll see additional accessories unlock to further customize her koala. Uh, other levels are adding a photo or image, sending text with her link, and achieving $100 in total online sales. And then once a girl achieves $160 in online sales, she can then finalize her, her design and hit submit. And then her custom my creation image will then be created into her own patch and sent directly from QSP. And then what we're really excited about is this year not only do girls have an opportunity to earn their own custom patch, but you, the Troop Fall product managers, can also earn your own patch when the Troop uh, has $320 in total online sales. And we think that the girls are going to get a big kick out of uh, seeing everyone in the Troop, especially their, their product manager, uh, with, with their patch. So this is how you can support the girls' online sales. So uh, there's, there'll be a launch email that will be sent to, to each of you uh, once your information is loaded into QSP, and that's what, what we do here at Council. But you can also just jump right in. You can go to our website and, and follow that, that call link and go ahead and, and create your, your troop 
uh, dashboard. And if you participated last year, uh, you can log in with the same email and password of, if you were a volunteer last year. And if you have two roles, one as the fall manager for your troop and one as a mother of uh, a Girl Scout participating in the online program, then you can toggle back and forth. You don't need to have two different accounts. We know that a lot of Girl Scout troops are very active in the community and they often use some of their proceeds to do a community project. So this new feature is a great way to, to share what your troop is doing with all of the customers. So for instance, if your troop has decided to donate bags of dog food to the local animal shelter, you would select this icon the animal welfare icon in the upper left hand corner and you would provide some text for the vision making it happen and the troop grade level and then this information is automatically then shared every time the girl sends an email to friends and family and what we find is that when customers know about the girl's specific goal and how the troop is using the proceeds they're even more likely to support the program. And then you can also write a custom message for the girl or the parent to see when they log in. This is fun. This is also new this year. You can keep track of the girl's activity. So you can see every girl in your troop. You can track how many emails she sent. You can uh, see if, if she's created her migration. You can see what her total online sales are for each individual girl and then as the troop as a whole. So if you really want that custom patch and your troop is at $310 and you need to get to $320, um, that will help you know uh, where you are and you can in, in, encourage some of the girls to sell just 10 more dollars. Um, or if an individual girl is really close to her personal goal of reaching $160 in online sales to earn her patch, um, you, can, you can cheerlead her, you can reach out to her parents and let them know, hey, Susan is really close to her goal, she only needs one more purchase, and maybe the parent is willing to purchase, you know, a, a can of donate a can of a tin of nuts to the military for seven dollars to put the girl over her uh, her goal. And in the troop uh, creation in the troop dashboard, this is where you can see the custom migrations that every girl has created. And this is fun to share. You can print this out and share this at your troop meetings. And when you're creating your my creation, unlike with the girls who unlock accessories at different levels, you have all of the accessories available to you from the beginning. So you could spend a lot of time uh, creating various designs. This, this is really interactive and really fun. Also new this year is a program um, that's really great way to engage older girls, however, it can be used for any age levels, but it's the 59 minute quick start program. And what it's designed to do is bring all the girls together and it's like a, t a telethon and they come prepared with a list of friends and family and phone numbers, QSP, they have a script ready to go to help the girls with their phone skills and you know we're imagining all the girls maybe it's a service unit events maybe it's just uh, the troop um, but finding fun ways to engage the girls you know rewards let's say for the first two sales um, achieved over the phone um, there's a lot of resources available on this website you can also find the resources on our website as well and uh, you could 
encourage the girls to participate by offering the 59-minute quick start patch, uh, which is available in our store. Um, but there's a lot of great videos from both true leaders and girls available on this website. Highly recommend that you uh, take a, a couple minutes to learn more about um, this really fun uh, event. Also new this year, and this got a lot of applause from service unit fall product managers, is that all of the online orders will automatically import from the QSP site into NetE. So again, NetE is where all of the orders and recognitions are managed. So if your troop did 100% online sales, then there would be no orders for you to manually enter, there would be no money to collect, and you would not need to print the, the girl online sales reports. I do want to mention on your troop envelope, it did say on the checklist that you need to print the online sales report, but you just, we didn't catch it before it went to print, but you do not need to print that. So again, all of the orders just automatically port over for online sales. So this just makes it even easier to participate. And this is a, the URL for, for NetE, www.ashtonfarmsnetE.com. Your login would be your troop number and password is GSHCC, all lowercase. Please make sure that you're selecting the 2016-2017 product sale. I will say that there are going to be some troops due to some unknown issue when we're importing uh, volunteers into NetE that it's not accepting just the troop number for some of the logins. So if you know your troop is in NetE but it's not accepting the troop number plus GSHTC as your login, try putting in a capital T in front of your troop number. So if your troop number is 140, put a capital T 140, and that will work. If neither of those logins work, then that means your troop is not in NetE. And uh, you should probably come make sure that you are registered as a Troop Fall Product Manager. Um, and we do, we're going to be doing those uploads from our membership database to NetE every Monday afternoon and Thursday afternoon. So if you've already designated yourself in that role and a week has gone by and you're still not able to log in, then contact customer care. So NetE is where you would change the, the proceed level, the proceed plan. By default, all of the troops that are imported will be set up with recognitions. But if you are a troop with cadets or older, and the girls unanimously vote to earn 20% troop proceeds and not the reward items, then this is where you would select that for the entire troop. This is the, the order entry page. So you would want to make sure you're, that you're saving after entering each girl order and their recognition orders. Um, fairly straightforward. Again, by default, in the recognition, the one will be chosen for her. But if you know a girl wants the silicone bracelets and not the bar necklace, this is just an example on the screen. Our reward plan is different. Uh, but you want to make sure that you're selecting the right option for her. So we recommend you know, two or three weeks before the end of the program uh, get their preferences and go ahead and, and update that E. Uh, just another view of uh, selecting the recognitions. And this is where you would go to print the reports to your service unit file manager. So there are G2 reports and there are T2 reports. The G2 reports are what you would 
uh, turn in and show your the, the parents. The T2 reports is what uh, you would turn into the service unit manager and what they would likely use as uh, receipts when they are distributing product and recognition items back to you. So for example, on the left hand side you have you see a G2 report that's a girl order, the chief girl. And once you receive all of the items from the service unit file manager, it's a good idea to print two copies of this report. Have the parent sign one copy. And that's the receipt that they acknowledge that they received everything on that report. And use one for the recognitions and one for the product. And then the service unit manager would do something similar when they're distributing all of the product and recognitions uh, to you. And then I wanted to highlight at the bottom of the T2 report, you see total amount to council, amount paid council, and then balance due. So you want to make sure when you're turning in your final uh, paperwork that it includes a validated deposit slip for the amount due to council. So you could choose to deposit all of the money that's collected from girls into the troop account and then write one check to, to us or you could choose to deposit checks that customers have given you, please, no larger than $60 per any check, and then deposit that into the council account, you know, not, not to exceed what's, what you would owe us. Uh, but it is important that a validated deposit slip match that number, the total amount to council. And then you're done. So the paperwork that you would turn into your service unit manager would be the parent and girl permission forms, the in-person order forms, that's the magazine orders. Again, the pink copy stays with the customer. That will help them track the status of their order. That's their receipt. You would print off the T2 reports and the validated deposit slip. Please make sure you're getting a deposit slip from your service unit manager that's coded with our account number and your service unit number. Uh, do not use a counter deposit slip. Please make sure you're using the, the custom printed slip from your service unit manager. And then attach the validated receipt to that. Please do not turn in cash or checks to your service unit manager. Please make sure that all the money is deposited before you turn in your final paperwork and then also log that deposit into NIE so that it shows up correctly in the report that you have a zero balance remaining. And then if your girls chose to uh, do the reach out booklets to earn the theme patch, uh, you would turn in the entire booklet into your search manager in the troop envelope. Pretty easy. This year, again, we're striving to make, make things easy. We're providing a number of resources uh, on our website. Again, you can find everything at girlscoutshcc.com backslash fall product. And that includes the Troop Fall Program Guide in case you did not receive a hard copy from your service unit manager. You can download one from our website. Uh, you'll find checklists. So pre-sale checklist, checklist for girl and family planning and a wrap-up checklist, the five skills guide, and 59-minute quick start uh, materials. That's the friends and family to contact sheet, the girl script, and the troop leader guide. And I want to hop over to our website for a moment and show you what those resources look like. So here we have this year's Troop Fall Product Manager guide. Gives you all of the important dates. And copy of the back of the envelope. And 
the 59 minute quick start guide. Again, I highly recommend checking out the videos. There's some really great testimonials from other troop leaders and girls talking that I know that there's one video of the troop leader saying that when they did the 59 minute event, they sold more in that 59 minutes than they did the entire fall program the previous year. So the resources for a 59 minute guide, uh, you can see that it provides a phone script and some quick start tips. And then Emily Allen, who recently joined our team, she put together a checklist to, again, just make the program as easy as possible. So this is everything that you should be thinking about before the sale. And then during the sale, it's a host of fall program training night for girls and their families. Review the five skills guide, which I'll uh, show you in a moment. Review cash handling procedures with the girls. Review all the important dates and time and deadlines and then the troop wrap-up checklist. Everything that you need to turn into your service unit manager. And then the five skills guide is to loading. Um, this is a really great resource. We highly recommend you spend some time to review this. This is a tool to help you teach the girls the five skills and how, how does the fall program help them practice each of the five skills. So that's really the goal for each of the product programs is for the girls to be able to, to walk away uh, with really feeling like that they've learned something. So that's taking a little bit of time to, to load. You can download this from our website. And Emily did just a fantastic job in putting this together. And then we'll also be creating an even more an expanded um, version of this for cookies. And that concludes the webinar. Uh, thank you for taking the time to, to learn a little more about the fall program. If you have any questions, please uh, contact us um, at customercare at girlscoutshcc.org, uh, or you can call us at 916-452-9181. Thank you so much.